So now to a story that is positively Jax. All this week we are sitting down with the five finalists for Duval County Teacher of the Year. It is such an honor, no doubt for them, because we have so many fantastic educators in our county. Now Kay Park is a third grade teacher at Alamacani Elementary School. Her students say that she teaches them not only the curriculum, but also life lessons. They say she is the type of person to just make everyone feel important. Sometimes she'll even dance with the kids in the classroom. I would love to see that. <laughs> now she is a finalist, as I mentioned, for the Eddie Awards, an event really to celebrate our local leading teachers. Kay is joining us now this morning on The Morning Show. Good morning to you. Good morning, I know Jan. exactly what you mean and what your students mean, because I just have to tell you, Kay walks in, and she immediately compliments all of us, and we're, like, feeling tired, and we're, like, you know, it's just brighter now because you're here. <laughs> and it's you not so because much. of the beautiful jacket that you're Thank wearing. Thank you so much, Thank Jen. you for being here, and congratulations Thank to you. Thank you. So how do you motivate the kids? Kids. How do you make them want to learn? Third grade is tough. They kind of breeze through first and second. And third right. grade, man, it's down to business. Well, at the beginning of the year, we decide what our uh, goals are going to be. And we talk about our goals every day. We talk about, you know, how far we're going to go into school, whether or not we're going to choose college or go straight into a career. And we talk about the things that we need to do in order to achieve those goals. Um, and we start with, you know, going to school, right. staying in school, and then getting a nice home and a nice family. And we talk about those goals every day, and it just seems to, to make sense to them. And they want to do well. Every student wants to do well, and every student has a gift. And so they react to that, talking about what you're going to be, what you're going to do, what your future holds. Well, what you're doing is planting the seed early, which is fantastic, because I don't know that a lot of particularly new parents necessarily start talking to their kids in third grade about you know aspiring to go on to college mm -hmm. you know it is expensive and sometimes it's just not you know in the cards so it's great that you want to motivate them Absolutely. so I want to just read from because I told you I had to read this a couple of times because this is actually written by a first grade teacher at Alamakani right. where you teach and she said as a student in her class Mrs. Parks Park uh, made learning fun and she said and you you always she remembers you saying this to her day after day when she was a student in your class in order to live a happy life you must work hard and always try your very best is that just such a compliment that, well, first of all, you have a student who wanted to become a teacher, right. very likely probably because of your influence. That was Jenna Pugh, and I remember, it seemed like yesterday, since she was in my first grade classroom, and now we taught alongside each other at Alamakani for a while. Um, she was in my class in 1991, the first, well, actually the second year that Alamakani opened, and um, it's just a tribute to her as well that, that she decided to carry on that tradition. Wow. And she's a wonderful teacher, and uh, she inspired me as much as uh, I think I inspired her. So it's interesting because, you know, you've been teaching now for more than 30 years. Alan McConney, since, well, it's been open, I guess, 26 years. How do you keep that... You know, sometimes as you as you get into any profession mm -hmm. and you're doing it a long time, it's hard to kind of keep that spark and, and keep motivating and keep smiling and not get discouraged by changes in curriculum and right. Common Core and everything else. Right. How do you right. do that after right. all these years of teaching? Well, my mother was a teacher um, oh. uh, before me. She taught for 36 years, third grade as well. And I think going into the classroom with her and just observing her and and learning from her and then uh, carrying that on, carrying on that tradition and, and having energy. You've got to have energy to, to get the kids motivated. And I think the kids pick up on that. The kids pick up on my energy and that energizes them. And every day we just um, try our best and we just keep moving forward. So we have some video of Dr. Vitti coming in. What was that like for you then when he walks in? I mean, did you know immediately? Well, it was the courtyard flag right. raising. Okay, okay. And so it was amazing. I was in total shock. And um, I was just so happy. But um, it was just a wonderful day. You know, there's something to be said also when you're when the big boss, you know, yeah. is there uh, talking, you know, and, and showering you with accolades. I mean, that's that's a real... That's a real tribute. It was amazing. It was yeah. it was one of the best days of my my life, and I'm never going to forget it. The kids were all clapping, and Dr. Vitti was so nice, and uh, as well as the Jacksonville Education Public Education Fund uh, representative was there, and it just the cameras, uh, DJ, the mascot. It just was great. Well, I loved it. You were it. the superstar that you were clearly a superstar, and and now you you know you've had your moment certainly there and here, and we certainly wish you luck regardless of who right. is selected 
You're all winners. Thank you, you know, so thank much, you so much. I Hayden really Ferry. appreciate oh, of course. it. I love giving you the honors. Thank if anything you. we can do at Channel 4 to highlight local teachers who are doing fabulous things, we always love to do.